as long as everyone yes I'm back with a new video so everyone we are here at the platter now these fruits Pakistani mango this is chonsa it is the best fruit ever ever hands down no debate no question about it don't question about it now the chonsa is very fragrant it actually smells so good right here <sighs> The skin is very thin. When you cut into it, it just fills the room with that sweet, fragrant smell of chonsa mango. And here, we have the mango sliced up. It's absolutely gorgeous with its dark yellow, orange, and white flesh. I mean, you can eat this by itself. It doesn't need anything. Chonsa mango doesn't need anything. No cream, no nothing. It's this is a king of all fruits. So if you just take a bite of this, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mm, mm, mm. So in this video, I'm actually going to be eating chonsa mango with cheese. You're like, what? Yes, we're talking about cheese. Let me put this aside. We're going to be eating it with this blue cheese. Now, I only could find this one. This you can find in Carrefour in uh, Emporia Mall. This is the Castello Danish Blue Cheese. Full flavored, salty, and sharp. Now, here is the strength given. This is a 6. So, yeah. It has to be intense. This is 100 grams. This was really expensive. Oof. So, when you look at the back... So here we have the ingredients and how you're supposed to store it. Now I'm going to be trying this cheese with the chonsa mango. Let me open it. Okay, okay. This is an acquired taste. It smells like, I don't know what, how to say it. <laughs> like stinky feet. Like seriously. Okay. So there is a film. There's a cling film here. Okay, you have to open that. Ah! Stuck for the last kage. My parents couldn't even wait. They like ate all of it. Okay. So this is how it looks like. I don't want to remove the cling film because it helps protect the the cheese. Now this is how it looks like. It looks like this cheese has gone bad. <laughs> like seriously, this is what it looks like. But let me just open it for you. So if you can see the side profile, you'll see that it actually has a lot of pockets. And even right here, where the penicillin has actually worked its magic, you can see. It smells really bad, but the taste, oof. Now this is very sharp, intense, and salty. So this actually goes really well with something intensely sweet, such as the chonsa mango. <laughs> okay, now we're going to be trying this, and I hope that you are able to get this, because this was really hard to find. It's kind of out of stock in Pakistan right now. So I'm going to taste it by itself. Mm. Oof. Insanely creamy. Very salty, so rich. Mm. That cheese, ugh, it's great. And the taste of that green stuff, don't, don't let that green stuff fool you, especially for this cheese. <laughs> if there is green stuff on other cheese, yeah, stay away, but not the blue cheese. Oh, this is very strong. Uh, I mean, you can see that. Look at the pockets, like pockets of all that green stuff. Oof. Now, this is more greenish um, than blue. So, should we call this green cheese? Okay. So, let's take a bit. Now, we're going to eat it with the chonsa. So, take a bit of mango. And then, you just put it on top of the chonsa. Come on. Take a bite of that. I know. I know. Just, just take a bite. 
Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Great contrast. And why it's a great contrast? Because this is so sweet and this is really salty and creamy. And then when you add it together, oof, it's like magic. Now, if this is your first time eating it, I would say just take a little bit of a few bites and then get used to it. See if you like it. Okay, now I put a bit more of the blue cheese on the chonsa mango and I'm going to take a bite. Mmm. Ah, so delicious. You could also take it like this. <laughs> it looks like a fry. We take a bit of the blue cheese. This is something you should try like once. I know this is really expensive, but uh, this is like a summer treat. Like what else do we have chonsa mango here? Like seriously, it's only during the summer, right? Ah, bismillah Mmm. Mmm, mmm. This is very pungent, but so delicious. I mean, this one, this is the first time I'm actually trying out this Danish blue cheese. There is another, um, there are other brands of this blue cheese that are less intense, but I feel like this one would make a great sauce because of the intensity of the flavor. So if you want to have blue cheese, always have the intense kind because especially with the mango, oof. I can't stop. Like, this is seriously like, ugh. Look at that. Like, that, that green stuff. Oof. Let's take some more. Now, you set the pace for how you want to eat it. <laughs> no one's forcing you to have a lot of it. Bismillah. This combination, it's a winner. So, I'm gonna stop right here because <laughs> I can I can have all of that. Like that's with the mango. Oof, this is a killer combination. So I hope that you learned something new right here. We have the chonsa mango, and we're eating it with the blue cheese. It's only during the summer that you ha get to have this amazing king of the fruit mango. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so rude. I didn't give you any. Here you go. Mmm, <laughs> so tasty, right? So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye.